Okay, hi there, and welcome to another of my video tutorials. My name is Ian Middleton, I am a travel and landscape photographer, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Ian Middleton Photography, or on my website ianmiddletonphotography.com. Now, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the adjustment brush in Adobe Camera Raw. And this is a fantastic tool for targeting specific areas in your photo and making adjustments just to those areas alone. Now you may have seen my um, video where I showed you how to use the graduated filter tool. Now this can do that too, but you can only apply it to like the top half or the bottom half of the image. and you can't really target specific areas with it. So if you want to do that, then you need to use the adjustment brush tool. Okay, so in this photo, for example, now I've specifically um, exposed this photo to the right to bring out the detail in all the rocks surrounding the water. And of course, as a result, I've got a bit of a contrast issue. now. When shooting water, you should always shoot on overcast days or when it's in the shade, which I did here. But still, the contrast between the two was a little bit too high, but not so high that um, I can't do something with it. Now, I exposed it to the right to bring out the details here. So as you can see here, it's pushed off. The histogram is pushed off to the right. And consequently, this area down here of water is burned out, but it's not burned out to the point where I can't recover it. The detail is actually still there in the RAW file. That's the beauty of shooting in RAW. So I can recover this, okay? Also, of course, if I made an overall adjustment, again, I'm gonna darken my rocks and my background and everything around it, which again, I don't want to do. What I want to do in this image is bring back the detail lost here in the water. And that's where the adjustment brush tool comes in. You'll find it up here on this panel here. So here it is, the adjustment brush. So you click to select it. Uh, and here you go. The adjustment brush is here and it gives you all of these options down here. All of these tools down here you can use for just the adjustment brush. First of all, if we come down here, this is the important part. First of all, we want to adjust the size of the brush. So you can see here, uh, I can make the, the brush size bigger. I can make it smaller. For a scene like this, I think I'm gonna make it about maybe 10 here. Now I can also adjust the feathering and by that, what I'm essentially doing is making the edges of the brush softer or harder. Okay, so again for this I'm going to start with feathering of 10 and size 10. Flow and density I leave at their defaults. Now once I've set my brush size I can choose what I want to adjust. Okay. Now, in this case, of course, I want to try to bring back the highlights. So I'll whack the highlights tool right down to 100. And then I click and start brushing the area where I want to make my adjustment. Okay. Now, once you've applied the brush to a certain area, you'll get this little icon up here. If this is red, make sure this is red. Once this is red, I can then continue to make adjustments. Once I've brushed the area, it's set, and then I can continue. So if that quite wasn't, in, wasn't quite enough, as I could see, I can actually also then adjust my exposure here take it down to about 0.5, minus 0.5 of a stop. 
Uh, and now if I come down here I can see my before and after. Yeah. Now if you want to see the area that you've adjusted you can always go a bit extreme with your exposure. Oops, sorry. Again when this is white it means it's not selected so make sure that that's red so you can then make the adjustments in that area. Now you can see here see my edges are a bit hard here. So um, if I come back down and adjust the feather tool up a bit more yeah, I can brush out those areas here. Go extreme so you can see where you've applied your brush. So you can make it look more seamless. There. Now I can bring that back up to where I wanted it to be. About minus half a stop. Okay, now again we can see the difference. Okay now another way to see um, where exactly I've set my brush uh, is to use the mask tool down here. Okay if I select mask, you see that this is suddenly turned white. That's because I've set my, my mask color to white. So if we click the color, we can change the mask overlay color. And we can use, change it that the color indicates the affected areas or the unaffected areas. So for example, if I change this to red, uh, if we select unaffected areas, it's going to show the area around. That's the area that will be unaffected by my changes. If I select this, this is the area which will be affected. That's really what I want to know. So by using the color, I can more clearly see where I've applied my brush. And I can also see that maybe some of these areas there's missing in the middle. So this is very useful because then I can go back and brush in these areas that I've missed here. Now I can see I've got a much better selection. Now I can turn this back off again and carry on doing what I was doing. Uh, now that's made a massive improvement. I've selectively uh, brushed the area where I wanted to make my adjustment and none of the surrounding rocks have been affected. So essentially I've brought back the detail that was missing there. We can do the same, of course, you know, with this tool because we can adjust the brush size. That also means that we can uh, target even smaller areas in our uh, image. So for this, I want to um, bring out the color and also dehaze the island and the church here. But I don't want to dehaze the whole scene. So again, uh, I'll bring my uh, feathering down a bit and I'll make my brush size 5 this time. Now once you've done something be careful make sure that you put all your sliders back to zero because they always stay at the settings that you've used previously. So make sure when you start all of these are zeroed because in this case I want to adjust the saturation and the dehaze tool. And then I'm going to apply that just to my island. Nothing else. Again, before, 
after. If I want to add more saturation, oh, again, make sure that's selected. If I want to add more saturation, I can. If I want to add a touch more dehaze. Now, once I've brushed my area, so there's no need if you've if you've brushed it and you've done it a bit too much. For example, if I brushed it and it was too dark. I don't have to undo it and go back and do it again. Once I've brushed the area I want to adjust, then I can make fine adjustments. Okay, again, before and after. Okay, okay. So, once we've done that, we can then open the images into Photoshop and do what we want to do elsewhere. Now we're not just limited to uh, doing this with a raw photo. If we've already got a photo open and saved as a TIFF, we can also open that photo into Adobe Camera Raw using the Adobe Camera Raw filter here. So for example in this picture it's a very high contrast picture and consequently because the sun was rising behind the mountains right behind the church the church itself is a little bit too dark so again I can go filter open this using the Adobe Camera Raw filter and then go to my church go to my adjustment brush again make sure that all of my sliders are zeroed because in this case what I want to do is increase the exposure a touch on this so I'll take the exposure up to 0.5 in this case I'll take my brush tool down a bit now I can zoom in to get a bit closer. Okay, in this case, I'll maybe make the brush foot size four feathering. Let's try that at six and then brush the facade of my church here yeah. very carefully okay again take that out again go back select that particular adjustment and then I can fine-tune it I think I want it brighter I think I want it darker uh, but I think Let's see. I think in this case, half a stop is enough. I don't want to overdo it, otherwise it won't look natural. And then OK that. And that's the adjustment made there. On the opposite side as well, if uh, some part of your scene is too bright, like in this case, the church because it was lit and it was very early dawn so the sky was still very dark so in order to get the sky nice and bright the church itself was a little bit too bright so again I can go filter Adobe Camera Raw I can zoom in to my church adjustment brush again zero this Okay, and in this case, I might just take down the highlights a touch. So I'll need a bigger brush. Maybe about that now. Okay. I don't worry. Uh, as I said, this is going to be too much, but it's actually quite useful that it's a bit too much so I can really make sure that I'm brushing 
the right part of my seam. So once I've done that, I can then pull this back a bit. And also make some adjustments to my exposure and to my highlight so it's not too much. Again, come down here before and after. Yeah, just needed a tweak, didn't need too much in that case. Open it, and there you go. Okay, so that's the adjustment brush tool. Extremely useful, extremely versatile, and uh, a great tool to use. So, hope you found this useful, and um, check out my other tutorials, and thanks for watching. Catch you later.